started to come into the idea that you're actually miming the yeah, you're looking at the present situation, looking at Web 2.0, looking at the type of images, the patterns, the waveforms that exist around us in the present environment in 2012. Uh, does the artist mind that? Or, or is, is that what the true art is? is it, or, or no, no, there's no chemical body art involved. It's the Android me being the great artist. Web 2.0 unleash creativity by normal humans, some members of the humans on a scale that's never been witnessed before. And what, what creativity is, um, it's hard to define, but the amount of expression, that's McLuhan's first statement in his first essay in Exploration in 53. He says that the natural human inclination to express itself and, and do the full range of expression, whatever media is in his culture, is uh, what he was going to observe. And now you have the Android meme expressing itself, but, but making human beings think that they can express it, and they can go on there real easily and make all kinds of imagery. So it's the greatest renaissance of human creativity, but it's really the Android meme that is the great artist. The Android meme is the Andy Warhol letting everybody else express himself to provide content. But when you had the final extension, uh, the satellite, which extended not any body part, inner or outer body part, like television sense central nervous system, it extended the whole planet or the terrestrial habitat. That was the final of what I call expression of analog media, even though there's starting to be digital media in the satellite. So once the planet extended itself, human beings had done it, then the technology that had been created through these extensions started to extend itself within itself among its constituents. So the end of is the replay of the history of humans extending themselves through technology, which is the Bucky Fuller McLuhan vision. Once that had happened by the late 60s, then technology took on quote a life of its own and extended itself, and that's the Android D. And it is extending itself not for the human chemical body to observe and appreciate, it is doing it for its own self. So the Android D quickly is a replay of the history of extension by the machines themselves, by the extensions themselves.